The Norwegian archipelago is warming quicker than any other place on Earth. At least two people are dead, including a child, after an avalanche in Norway. It happened in Svalbard, one of the northernmost settlements in the world. This is Svalbard, an archipelago halfway between Norway and the North Pole. People have lived here since the 1600s. After the discovery by the Dutch, the fjords became the hunting ground of whale hunters. After all the whales were killed or driven away, trappers hunted polar bears and seals. At the end of the 19th century, coal was found in the steep mountain flanks of the island, after which American, Norwegian and Russian mining companies settled there. Longyearbyen, the only real town on the island, was established by the American Arctic Coal Company in 1906. Today, almost all mining operations have stopped on the island, with the last mine closing in a year. Yeah, safe, safe is the last uh, compression name. Odies for uh, Spitsberg, or the Zeker uh, Longyearbyen, is in all these houten uh, kabelbanen, die zie je overal terug in de uh, stad. Hikmet is a Dutch guide who moved to Svalbard seven years ago. So, uh, he tells us he has seen the effects of global warming on the Arctic firsthand. The archipelago is warming six times faster than the global average. In autumn and winter, more precipitation falls and storms become more frequent and intense. In summer, temperatures reach unprecedented heights. A heavy snowstorm has been raging on Svalbard for days. This heavier, more intense snowfall is an additional effect of global warming. Despite the snowstorm, Hikmet wants to show us a melted glacier. Blinded by the snow, we lose our way for a moment. After a two hour hike, the storm subsides. We have a lot of rain, which also has a lot more water from the glacier to the stream. En hier is het tempel voor de Dit is het water helemaal daar. Dus allebei is water. Water. Oceaan. Fjordwater. Gletsje. Dal. En wij kwamen vanuit hier. En we staan nu hier. En dus heb je nog een paar gezien. Dit was allemaal gletsje. Van water tot water. Dat is één gletsje. Ja. Warmer temperatures lead to an unstable snowpack, making avalanches more frequent. In 2015, 11 houses were buried under a snow avalanche, something that had never happened before in the town. I remember the day very clearly, yeah. It had been um, quite a big storm. I remember looking out of the window, it, I thought it was very beautiful because the, it was just like a neatly, neatly bed with white sheets. And then the power, electricity went. And I remember at the same time just glancing, just out of the window, wondering where the neighborhood was. And then I went out on the porch and saw the houses were destroyed there. Due to the fact that climate change is so rapid, it's, it's uh, more downfall and it's hotter. So that means we have all different kind of hazards coming. Snow, landslides, mudslides, of course stones, falling, but uh, of course permafrost moving, so that means that all the infrastructure is also moving a bit. The warming of the Arctic also has consequences for the animals and plants on Svalbard. Entire ecosystems are disrupted. Reindeer find it more difficult to get to the plants under the snow because of the rain that forms an ice layer on the top. Birds are increasingly migrating northwards, to colder climates. Scientists have been exploring the Arctic for decades, but the work is becoming increasingly urgent as climate change increases. We go to a clear area of snow, students are digging snow pits, and um, Basically, winter in Holland is always about digging, so they get practice in. Once they've dug down to the, the bed of the snowpack, then they look at different properties of the snowpack, take measurements of it, and it's, uh, analyses and it's acceptable. 
the rapid changes that we're seeing now will be carrying on even if we stop the climate change. So we've got to understand these environments because we are losing them and we will lose the knowledge of those environments for future generations and that's really important. Not just because the changes in those environments will affect climate change, but just for future generations to know about them. And because we will lose them, we are losing them.